Synoptic Maps is a very powerful feature of Digifort. With Synoptic Maps, you can, you can create maps of core plans that can be used for uh, camera navigation or maps that can be used for automation like a control panel that you can trigger IOs, that you can trigger events, that you can control um, machinery or having the status of your um, equipments. So it's a very extensive feature. Um, we're gonna show a little bit of uh, how this feature works. So on the, uh, on the Synoptic map registration in the administration client, you can create a new map. This new this um, editor allows you to create to add images from your computer, such as loading a floor plan or a dashboard image, or you can also load uh, an image from Google Maps. You can add text to to the map. You can, and you can drag and drop objects to the map. Let's open a map that's already uh, developed here. This map here is for automation. It's just a collection of objects, which we can turn on lights, blink lights. This is just for a demonstration of IOs. Or you can also have a map, a real map with a, fo a floor plan uh, and cameras on the on the map. Okay, so if you have a, uh, a map with, with a floor plan, here we can grab a camera, drag into the map, you can rotate, you can select the type of camera, the color of the camera, it's very very flexible. You can add a field of view for the camera, you can change the text, here, camera test, change, for example, the, the label from the camera. But not only cameras can be dragged into the map. You can also drag actions. So for example, you can drag a preset from a camera. So when you have this icon, the operator can click on that icon and the camera will, and, the, and that preset from that camera will be uh, activated. You can also drag in uh, manual events. A, ma a manual event uh, from a camera could be, for example, to open a gate. That's, that's a manual event that's associated to that camera. So if you drag the, the uh, event itself, you have an action. So it's, it's a button that you can click. Or you can also have the status of that event. So if the event is short or open, in case, for example, you can select a siren icon or a, a door. So if the door is open or closed with the status of that event, you can also add the status of input ports from cameras, the status of output cap ports from cameras. You can use the IO devices. So, um, actions such as the events from IO devices or the actions for, for IO devices like triggering, um, like opening a gate in, in this example here. Or you can also drag global events. This event is already on the map. Okay, this one. You can drag these events so the operator can click on that event and the event uh, is going to be triggered or you can also have the status uh, the status of that is already on the screen but here you have the status of this screen of this uh, global event and you can also link uh, this map to other maps so you're gonna this way you can do um, a multi-layer mapping so for example this map over here we have this a little icon that is linked to another map. So I can I can put this map here and select like this arrow um, and uh, a green arrow. 
So whenever the user click on that map, it's gonna open that other map. Now on the surveillance client, let's load that map. So we have the camera. This is a, a live camera with live feedback. So from the map in the surveillance client, if, if you just hover the mouse, you're gonna have a preview of that uh, camera. You can drag the camera from the map and you can view the camera here. You can double click on the camera, it's gonna open on a new pop-up. If you double click on another camera, it's gonna open, it's gonna add to that pop-up that you already have. If you press and hold shift and double click on the camera, it's gonna open a new pop-up. If you wanna populate this new pop-up with another camera, just double click on a camera and it's gonna be added on that pop-up. If you want to populate this pop-up over here, you can just double click, uh, you just select uh, the pop-up and double click on the camera and now it's gonna be pop populated here or you just drag and drop the camera to the pop-up and the camera will be added to the pop-up. So very flexible ways of working with the map. And navigating through the maps. So let's open this map. As you can see, there is a link to another map, which I'll, I'll click. And now I have that other uh, layer. I can I have another map here that I can click. And now I have on, on the outside. So you can you can have different floor plans of maps uh, linked to the, uh, together. And the operational maps can also link to uh, synoptic maps. So you can have the operational maps showing uh, on the Google Maps and a deeper layer can be found inside a uh, synoptic map. So as you can see, we have cameras, we have um, act uh, event status, like if the siren uh, is uh, triggered here, I can, I can see if the door is open or closed. I can open the garage, for example, in this, uh, in this, um, action over here I'm gonna double click now I got an event and the garage is being open now it's, it's being closed because the person is closing th that door I can also open this garage using this button over here and you can see on my map that I have an alarm indicating that that event was triggered I can double click on here and I acknowledge that the alarm was uh, recognized. So synoptic maps are a very powerful way of managing uh, multi-camera sites, uh, of multi-sites in a very easy and organized way. You can use the synoptic maps as navigational maps or as a dashboards or actions or control panel because you can actually customize uh, customize the map with your own images and your um, own controls. This uh, can, this is a very uh, this can be a very powerful feature for your uh, operation room.